Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to edit product page in WooCommerce. So let's begin. All right. So to edit the product page, first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on the Add New Plugin. And here you have to search for Shop Lantern. All right. So now we have to install this. Now I have to click on Activate. All right. So after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside the templates. And here I'll just simply click on add new template. All right. So here I have to do one thing to select page. So this will be new product page. So let's click on create template. All right. So as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. And from here, we simply added our product page with the help of full lantern plugin. Okay. So here, what you need to do, you can simply write down WL and now you'll be able to see all the elements that we have in our shop lantern okay so the first thing that i need to put here is the title so i'll simply drag the product title here and put this here perfect now what i need to do i would like to put this into center all right and after this what i need to do i will simply write down breadcrumb okay so we have to put the breadcrumb after our title all right, so now this is looking good. Let's just align this into center as well. Perfect. All right, so now what I need to add here is product image. So let's drag this and put this after our breadcrumb. So this will be our product image. All right, so this is looking great. Okay, so this is our product image and in the product image, let's just try to add the width here. So I'm gonna go here with the custom value. So let's try to change the width here. I would go here with the 50 percent and I'll simply align this into center. Now this is looking good. All right. OK, so now what I would like to add, I would like to add the add to cart. All right, so let's drag this and put this after our product image. All right, so we have to change the layout here. So let's go here with the layout three. All right, so this is looking good, but let's just try another one here. So let's go here with the layout two. Let's just go here with the layout four here. So I think I would go here with the layout three. All right, so now let's just try to change the width of it. So let's go into the advanced setting and here I have to select custom. All right, so I think I would go here with 50 percentage. Okay, this is looking okay. And in the align self, I have to put this into the center. All right. And after this, what we need to do, we have to go back and we have to write down tab here so you can see this we have the product tab so i simply put this after our add to cart and this is how it is looking and i think this is looking really good one thing that i can do here i have to add the title here so let's go back and add the heading before our product tab so let's put this into center try to change the color to the black and i will simply decrease the size of it so let's click here on the typography Let's just change the size of it. I think this is looking okay. And I would align this onto the left side. Now let's just change the text here. This will be the recent products. All right, so the design is looking pretty simple and elegant. So now I'm going to simply explore our product tab now. Okay, so in the product tab, as you can see here, we have the product style. So let's click on it. And now you'll be able to see that we have the three different styles. So let's click on the three here. And now let's just go here with the second one. All right, so the styles are pretty looking similar here. So let's go here with the first one. And after that, we have the filter by. So in the filter by, you can see this, we have the different options. So you have the recent products, you have the featured products, best selling products, and you can also see the other options here. And after this, you have the number of the columns. So you can simply increase or decrease the value from here. And after this, we have the draws, we have the number of the products. And if you want to filter, the products by the category you can simply do this from here and after this you can see this we have the custom order exclude out of stock all right so after this we have the product tab and in the last we have the product slider so if you enable the product slider you will be able to see slider option and slider controller style okay and we also have the style so in the style you can see this we have the two options we have the style and the action button so right now i'll just simply try to keep it like this because this is looking really good one thing that I need to do is to add some space here. So let's go inside the advanced setting and try to add the padding here. 
so this will be 70 maybe we can go here with 100 yeah this is looking good and at the bottom we're gonna go here with 70 all right so i think we can go here with the 100 to here okay so let's click on publish now what we need to do we have to go back into our wordpress dashboard all right so we have created our product page template now what we need to do we have to go inside the shop center so now in the shop blender as you can see this we have the woocommerce template so we have to click on this and here you will be able to see single product template okay so let's click on it and you can see this we have new product page so we have to select this and after this we have to click on save changes all right so now what we need to do we have to go inside our products perfect all right so now let's click on our any product here so let's click on the first one now you'll be able to see this is how our product page is looking and i think this is looking really good it's simple it's elegant and i think it's perfect so this is how you can edit your product page so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel